organization, religious organization. And it's like, you know, are, but are we following, studying the word of God to find out what is right and what is wrong? Well, uh, the topic of this message, you know, uh, that always aggravates me when I talk about this, you know, to what extent to each is individual perspective of the ideal of this government or political system um, that, you know, that needs to be addressed that the church is not addressing this according to the scriptures, you know, carefully. Um, it's called the reality of God over Caesar. As you know, the statement concerning the situation uh, that Peter needed uh, some t uh, money to pay taxes, taxes over uh, concerning, you know, he owed taxes. And he, of course, he went fishing. Jesus, you know, he called a fish. The fish had money in it, enough money to pay taxes and Jesus taxes. Now, that was about taxes. You know what I'm saying? That is owed to the system concerning the government. If the government has laws that you're supposed to pay taxes as what we should do as Christians, we should pay taxes. Okay. But the ideal arena of the ideal of voting is an ideal act based upon a person's choice based upon a ch person's choice concerning of who they uh, want, who they desire to want to be placed in responsibility of making things right for whatever city, whatever state, whatever uh, nation or something or country. Um, that is a choice now. This is this the taxes are something that it should be obligated for us to follow the law of that. But this ideal is based upon a choice that a lot of Christians are not understanding, and a lot of church leaders are not addressing this situation, this issue, serious issue concerning heaven. And now watch what Jesus put this stipulation right here for, uh, for those to have eyes to see of what this really saying. He says in Matthews 22 and 21, he said, they say unto them, Caesar, then he said unto them, render therefore unto Caesar the things which is are Caesar's. That's the taxes. You know what I'm saying? And rent and unto God the things that are of God. Now, the thing is, here's the thing. Here now, you know, and it's amazing. I, I meet uh, uh Christians, they say, Well, I'm about the kingdom of God. I'm like, okay. Well, if you're about the kingdom of God, therefore your ideal of perception of, the, of, of of God is based upon a king perspective. You know what I'm saying? Is this in this political uh, nonsense ain't supposed to make any kind of sense whatsoever. Let me get to the teaching. But the thing is, here's the thing. Uh, Jesus, God, well, here's the thing. This is God's plan. God, we know John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. You know what I'm saying? He, that's the performance he performed to bring salvation for us to join ourselves to our creator concerning the kingdom of God in heaven. You know what I'm saying? And as the, and Jesus Christ is king of kings, Lord of lords. You know what I'm saying? This is what this is supposed to be all about, a kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Totally about a kingdom. 
And the, and now watch this. You know, every, most Christians know the song. Jesus is the answer for the now. Yeah, no, hold up. Um, G, John fourteen six. Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, the life." Now, if you want to understand a quick definition of the, the means absolute, absolute, and that means that that no nobody, no he he nobody or nothing. He's the way the absolute as or he says Jesus says I am the door how many doors are we talking about one door no other door out here that he's talking about but only one door now the ideal system of this um politics and you know this Caesar Caesar is of Rome Rome uh, has got their ideal from Greece. Greece and Rome established this ideal of politics. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? Greece and Rome, they worship gods and goddesses. Oh, goodness gracious. Gods and goddesses. Wait a minute. Um, God, see, render unto God that's doing the God. What's the first commandment of the uh, uh, Ten Commandments? Serve no other God before me. But a uh, Roman, the Greco Romans, they serve gods and goddesses. They established the ideal system of politics. <laughs> I mean, that right there and is not being taught in churches is horrific. It's really horrific concerning the perspective of the idea that we should participate in an ideal system that is derived by God, a, a people that worship gods and goddesses. And that's in history. It's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that or a theologian or something. Anyway, um, the ideal of politics now is the ideal of a Democrat and a Republican. You know what I'm saying? A Democrat Republican who can get their person in the office, you know what I'm saying? Who can get their person against the office? Now, it's Democrat and Republican. Let me see. Jesus said that Matthew 24, it shall be kingdom, system against system. Two systems coming against each other. Hmm. Would Jesus want us to be about something that keep people against each other concerning views and issues that are going on in the world. Do, do God want God? Remember, we're supposed to render unto God. Do God want us coming against each other? You know what I'm saying? Concerning it. No, I think God is a king and he gives commandments, commandments for those people to follow, to follow the commandments, and Jesus gives commandments. He gave a commitment to love, 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 love it, love your neighbor. I mean, love God and love your neighbor. He gave you a commitment. But this system right here is saying, oh, our political group, group views are going can help the country. No, our political views can help the country. Oh, our political views can help the country. We can make things better. We can make things better. You know what I'm saying? Is that uh, something of God that God desires to want? happen in our world? Um, I don't think so. Well, the thing is, well, no, not it's not got nothing to do with Mac Johnson. Does the word of God think so? Well, I guess we got to get the prophet Jeremiah to help us out. Uh, yeah, I, I bet I bet the prophet Jeremiah can help us understand this God over Caesar idea better. The prophet Jeremiah says in seven, uh, uh, Jeremiah 17, he says the fifth verse, he said, thus saith the Lord, cursed be the man that trusts in man and make it flesh his arms and whose heart departs from the Lord. Not 
not only you're trusting in men that are liars. Uh oh, I'm losing connection, y'all. Uh, something's going on. But not only men are 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 you trusting in men that are born born in sin, shaped with iniquity, that uh uh are you know following unfortunately the God of this world is blind the minds of men, um a wicked system and look at the influence that's go out in television, radio, um internet, all kind of nonsense, all kind of confusion and conflict and chaos is happening around a, a world that is contrary to the things of God uh, in our country um, and things are getting worse. But watch this. When you put, when you give responsibility, trust responsibility over the man, guess what? You, your heart will depart from the Lord because I'm seeing almost every year, you know, but it's getting crazy about this. I hate Trump and nonsense concerning a lot of things that a lot of stuff is going on, uh, hating a person, you know what I'm saying? It, something I think, you know, God doesn't want, he wants us to love the love him and love our neighbor as we love ourselves. But how this escalate and how this continue that Christians think this is okay to be about something that is hating one another and starting conflict against one another are we rendering unto god that is of god to perform to do the things that is of caesar that is of a system or is ran by false gods and goddesses i mean now watch this this is what god want us to render the seventh verse of jeremiah 17 and 7 blessed is the man that trusted in the lord and whose hope is the lord is we're supposed to be trusting in the Lord. We're supposed to be trusting in our Lord. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is supposed to be the answer. He's supposed to be the answer. And his name is supposed to be above every name. You know what I'm saying? And that's including any politician, anybody that exists in the universe that I'm going to say, any name that exists is he supposed to be above that man? You know what I'm saying? But yet, we see Christians, when it's Pilate voting time, holding out names of people that name is below the name of Jesus Christ and not really going to be about giving an answer to what's going on in the communities and answer that's going on in the cities, answer that's going on in the states, answer that's going on in the nation or the whole wide world. More problems has been happening when we're giving our trust in these political, political positions. And like what Jeremiah says, we're cursing. We're, we're cursing this situation that you don't realize. And you like, why is this bad thing happening? Why is this bad thing happening over here? Why? Well, you're cursing, putting your trust in men. That's what Jeremiah is saying. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, don't complain about how bad this world is getting when you're not following what the word of God says, which is what, if you render unto God, you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to follow the word of God and things will turn out right. But if you keep disobeying it and you seeing all these bad deaths going on, diseases and horrible situations are happening in the world, it's because of what you're doing. It's not what God's doing. It's what we are continually doing will be the problem. I mean, look, G, look, we're supposed to be about blessings and not curses. And that's what Paul says, that we need to understand that God over Caesar, God, let God be true in every man alive. But it's sad concerning that men can lie so many times throughout human history and people still will believe men and end up with lies, and somehow, some way, lies will produce people's demise throughout human history. Sad situation. Stop the nonsense. Stop the foolishness. Be about God over Caesar. If you're not, if you want to continue trusting in Caesar, get ready for a horrible and more horrible, terrible results to happen. And that's the message. God be glory. 
and for the number of Jesus' name, amen.